In part 7 I'll show you how to set up and use templates with variable fields. We'll go over creating templates and using Dragon templates. First, creating templates. You can start creating a template in Microsoft Word and add whatever formatting you want. To create variable fields anywhere in your template, use opening and closing brackets. The area between the brackets will become the variable field. In fact, you can create a form like this before it's a template, and Dragon will already be able to actively select the different fields. Next variable. If you want, you can change the delimiting factor from brackets. To do this, go to Tools on the Dragon Bar and Options. From there, select Commands. Down at the bottom of the Commands tab, you'll see you can select a variable delimiter for the left and the right. If I wanted to, I could change these to say an at symbol. And anything that appeared between the at symbol and the bracket would become a variable. For now I'm going to cancel and leave the default as bracket. So like I said, once you've set it up in Microsoft Word, you can use it just like it is, or you can create a dragon template. A dragon template is a template that you can access by a voice command. If you've already set up your form, then simply select and copy it and we're going to paste it into our new command dialog. Create a new command. I'm going to go ahead and paste my form into the content field. I'm going to name this command template1. If you want to modify a template form once you have it in the My Commands editor, and you can also set up the variables after you're in the Commands editor. To do this, select an element of the content and press the variable button. The selected area will become a variable field. You have the option to enter in a default value that will serve as a placeholder until and unless you select and then insert variable information. For now, I'm going to go back to my standard form. I'm going to say save and the variable fields that I'll show up will become active in Dragon and also I'll be able to access this template by using the voice command template1. Let's try that out. New document. Template 1. In the next section, I'll show you how to navigate and use Dragon templates.